Hi, I'm Nancy Fetzer, and you're in my Learning the Alphabet online video series. There are two major categories of videos in this section. The first is the alphabet chart video. In the alphabet chart video section, you will see that there are two videos. One is for parents and teachers, and then the other is an independent student practice video. Parents and teachers, this is my alphabet chart. This is a chart that has tactile kinesthetic cues in which the students will feel where they produce the sound and then they will learn the letter and names. They'll use this chart when they're reading and writing. The teacher parent instruction video for my alphabet chart is highly suggested for you to go through so that you will know all the different motions and understand how all the different sounds work on my chart. Now here's the great news. Not only will you learn about my alphabet chart, but you now can have your students independently practice the letter names and sounds using the alphabet chart student independent practice video. I highly suggest that your students see this video many times every day. This independent practice video can be used where you could have the students doing this at a station or during transitions in the classroom. And parents, you can have your child sit right in front of the computer and practice the letter names and sounds using this video many different times all on their own. The second category of videos that you'll see are actually 14 videos that are learned in a progression. The reason why there are 14 videos is because there's many skills students need to learn in order to master writing every letter of the alphabet. What I've done is I've created 12 shapes that the students will learn and they're fun shapes that they're familiar with in the world. And these shapes, once they master them, will then be put together in different configurations to make any letter of the alphabet. Let me review all these different videos so that you understand how they work. The first three videos will be for the shapes. The first video is just where the students are learning how to make the shapes using their large motor. So when they use large motor, what I do is I have three different activities. One called body right, another is sky right, and another is palm right. And that's where they're making these shapes with their body, with their finger in the sky for sky writing, and with one or two fingers using palm writing. The second and third video deal with shapes as well, but now they're going to go to the fine motor activity where they're actually going to use a whiteboard and write the shapes down. And then the last of the shapes will be with paper and pencil. Once they can write all 12 shapes with paper and pencil, then we move to the letter writing activities. Once students know all 12 shapes, then we move to videos 4 through 13. Again, you will learn these in a progression. The first of those two, video 4 and 5, will go back to body write, where the children will write every letter of the alphabet using those 12 shapes with their body, body write, sky write, and palm writing. Once they can do the large motor activities in, in videos four and five, then we move them to the whiteboard writing, more fine motor type of activities, where they're writing every letter of the alphabet on a whiteboard. These have been broken up into videos six through nine, so that the students are only learning a chunk of letters at a time that they're actually writing on the whiteboard. Once they can write all the letters on the whiteboard, then we go down to that last fine motor activity where we're going to use paper and pencil. In videos 10 through 13, the students will go through letter writing using paper and pencil. Finally, the last video, number 14, will actually combine letter names, sounds, and letter formation all in one video. This is that advanced letter practice. Both of these activities should be done daily with your students. The students should be going through the alphabet chart independent practice for letter and sounds, as well as love letter formation videos, so that ultimately all those skills are learned and mastered together. Who should be using this Learning the Alphabet video series? Preschoolers, kindergartners, 
first graders, and any student who needs to learn the letter names, sounds, and also how to write the letters. This activity can be done at home, but also in the classroom. It can be used as an independent station for your students to practice these skills. What a great thing to have, since so often we're pulling small groups in the primary grades and we need to have meaningful academic practice for our children to independently do on their own. You will find that these videos will not only fulfill that task, but also will be absolutely needed skills your students need to practice. There's a lot of repetition involved in learning sounds, names, and how to form letters. This is the answer for you helping your students, or at home, your child, to master these skills. Right here on the website, we have a free download that you will want to print in order to use all these videos more effectively. Let me go through the different pages that you'll find on the download. The first page is the letter formation chart that displays all 12 shapes that the students will need to learn. Notice I have a visual of the shapes, also the name of the shape, and then the last column here is the script that you use in which they're going to say this script as they make the shape. For example, if you notice in this top box, the shape looks like a pole and that's called the pole, and the students are going to say, down the pole, as they make the shape with their body, or as they sky write it down the pole, down the pole on their palm, or if they're writing on a whiteboard or with paper and pencil. This is a wonderful at-a-glance chart for you to refer to so that you can remember each one of the shapes. On these two pages, you will see all the uppercase and lowercase letters, using those 12 shapes configured in different ways to make any letter of the alphabet. Notice you'll have the letter, here's the capital A, then I'm going to take the shapes that we learned, the little script, up the ladder, down the slide, across the bridge. When students are first learning the letter, what will they do? They'll do the body right, up the ladder, down the slide, cross the bridge. Then they'll do sky right, up the ladder, down the slide, Cross the bridge. Then palm right. Two fingers will be used at first because, of course, you have more messages going through the brain using two fingers. Then we'll go to one finger. Two fingers, what are we doing? Up the ladder, down the slide, cross the bridge. One finger, up the ladder, down the slide, cross the bridge. Once students can write the letters using their large motor activities, then we switch to the more fine motor where we'll use the whiteboard and then finally paper and pencil. So now, what will students do? They'll go up the ladder, down the slide, cross the bridge, and they've made the letter A. So every time they go to write, they will say those little chants in order to help them remember how to form the letters. These two pages are wonderful at-a-glance sheets to assist your students or your child as they write the different letters of the alphabet. The next sheet is a copy of My Alphabet. That way you can use that as a resource as you go through the videos. In addition to the student size alphabet page that you will get in the free download, we'll also include a blends page and then over here you'll see we have our digraphs, sh, th, and ch, as well as oi and oy, the diphthong. This is the pig who couldn't say oink, he could only say oi and he lost his voice or O-U-O-W for ow. When a hammer hits your thumb, what do you say? Ow. S-H, sh, T-H, stick your tongue out, and C-H, chin, ch. In addition to those digraphs and diphthongs is the I-N-G. That's an inflectional ending, and we make the little ing motion so that children, when they're writing that ing ending, they will start to learn I-N-G, I-N-G, spells ing, spells ing. It's a wonderful way for them to learn that common ending. In your download packet, you will also see this page that has line paper on it. What this is for is when the children are writing with paper and pencil the 12 shapes or any letter of the alphabet, I actually will be using this paper. So I recommend that you Xerox it off front and back side 
so that the students can write on the same paper I'm using in the videos.